Moravian College football team took on number 16 Johns Hopkins University in its 2013 home opener on Saturday at Rocco Calvo Field. The Greyhounds suffered a 52-14 defeat at the hands of the Blue Jays. Senior quarterback Robbie Moyer got the Greyhounds on the board in the second half, scoring on a pair of short runs in the third quarter. The senior signal caller had 100 yards on 24 carries to go with his two touchdowns of 1 and 2 yards while completing 18-29 passes for 137 yards and one interception. Moyer is the first Moravian quarterback to register over 100 yards passing and 100 yards rushing in a single game since Matt Johnson did it against Franklin and Marshall College on October 16, 2010. The Greyhounds finished with 301 yards of total offense on Saturday, reaching the 300-yard mark for the second straight week. The last time Moravian had back-to-back -back games of over 300 yards of offense were at Juniata College and versus Ursinus College late in the 2010 season. I think when you go back and you look at the film, um, which sometimes you don't want to be too critical right after a game, win or lose. Uh, you go back, you watch the film, and, and certainly win or lose, you're going to find good things you've done, you're going to find fundamentally bad things that you've done and things you know, of that nature that you have to work on. Uh, so when, when we went back and looked at the tape, we did see some positives. There's no question. First, I think our kids fought for 60 minutes, and that's what we preached all week, and, and they bought into that and they listened to us. Um, you, you know, we faced a very good team. I don't want to take anything away from John Hopkins. I mean, how can you? I mean, they're, you know, they're an elite team, um, top 20 in the country. Uh, but offensively, I thought we moved the ball um, consistently for four quarters. Um, you know, certainly didn't hurt ourselves um, as many times with procedure penalties and, and, and turnovers like we have in the past. So that, that was definitely a positive. Um, defensively, um, you know, I think our kids, we put them in some other positions, try to get them in positions for success. I thought, you know, they fought hard. You know, Cherno Shaw moved down to a defensive end for us. Um, Chris McGrath was playing more outside linebacker than safety. Um, so I thought those kids transitioned well against a very fast-paced and uh, high-powered offense um, with that. You know, I think we got to shore up some things fundamentally. Uh, we certainly have to tackle a little bit better. We have to run the football a little bit better. And that's things that, you know, that as coaches we have to control, and it starts with me. Um, but I, I thought we did some good things on both sides of the football there, and, and, and it paid off. There's no question. I mean, the little successes are going to help us build into the next week. Well, you know, one thing about Robbie is, I mean, he, he's a fighter. And I think you see out there, I mean, he, he plays as hard as he possibly can for as long as he possibly can. Um, you know, sometimes as, as, you know, coaches, we get worried about some of those shots he takes, but he, he keeps battling through things. Um, and, and the thing with Robbie is he is a great leader, and I think he's been managing the game very well. Um, and, and that shows that yardage. I think, you know, Robbie would be the first person to tell you, you know, he'd rather have, you know, 20 and 20 and, and, and three more touchdowns on the board for, for Moravian's offense. Um, but, uh, but like I said, he, he does things um, – hard. Uh, he, he is very intelligent out there and he managed the game well. So uh, with all that, and he's a great kid. So, you know, the, the progress is he's made in the past month in this new offense with, you, you know, with Coach McGorry as his position coach has been phenomenal to see and I couldn't be happier for Robbie right now. It's a, it's a double-edged sword because you certainly want to talk about us being productive and, and having balance. Um, and, and as we talk to our guys on Sunday, the next thing is points. Uh, and we have to start converting some of that yardage into points, which I think we certainly can do. There's no question about it. Um, and again, a month into it, we've gotten better every week. Uh, faced a great opponent in Hopkins this past weekend. Uh, but again, moved the ball and did some positive things. But now it's about getting points on the board. Um, you know, so certainly we, we need to convert you know, some of those first downs and some of that yardage that we're getting into getting in the end zone and keeping those drives alive and doing some things like that. So, so a great statistic, no doubt about it, but uh, you know, need to get more points out of those, those stats too. I mean, he, he's, he's a great leader on defense. I think him and Anthony Orlando back at the, at the secondary spots have been phenomenal. Those are two guys that need to check all our calls and make sure everyone's in those right positions in front of them. And that's a lot to ask of those guys. But, but Ricky um, you know, handles himself very well out there. Um, he puts his, himself in great positions for success. Um, you know, he, he would, I think, would tell you that he had a, a very good week of practice after coming off a, uh, you know, a, probably a below average game against McDaniel. He really upped what he did all week in practice, and it showed on Saturday. So you saw how much effort he put into the week, 
and that translated to, to having a very good individual game for Ricky on Saturday. The head coach explained how the Greyhounds stay loose and alleviate some of the stress that comes with a slow start to the season. We have to control our tempo. We have to control our fundamentals um, day in and day out. And if we do those things and play relentless football, good things are going to happen. Um, so we just have to keep that in mind. Certainly when you get in some positions like this, you could get anxiety. You could really press. And our players haven't done that. Like I said, they've been great in buying in um, to everything we've been selling to them. So that's a credit to the kids. I mean, they're, they're, they're great to be around. They work very hard in practice. So good things are going to happen because they're keeping that focus of, of getting better fundamentally every day. And if we can work on those little things, the big things will fall in place. Um, you know, now it's just a matter of when, and, and people talk about how quick, but, but it'll happen. Um, we just got to stay the course. Moravian returns to action in the Centennial Conference on Saturday when they travel to Dickinson College for a 1 p.m. game. I think Dickinson, number one, is coming off a very big win against Susquehanna. Um, you, you know, they played very well. Um, they have a very athletic quarterback, um, you know, who, who did a great job, again, managing the game. I mean, with 19 for 21, um, rushed for also 150 yards on the ground. Um, so he does a lot for their offense. And, and Dickinson, the team that, that Darwin Bro, their head coach, really does a great job preparing them. They don't hurt themselves. Um, they make you earn yardage. They're in the right spots. Um, and things like that. So we really have our work cut out for us this week. But, you know, I think right now we're in a good spot of, of getting better offensively. We just got to generate some more points right now. You know, defensively, they're going to, their offense is going to show us a lot of different things. So defensively, we have to be very sound in our fundamentals. We have to do a great job running the football, then finish tackles. Um, you know, we, we've gotten better at that. I mean, I think that showed, you know, after those first 17 minutes in the McDaniel game, I think we did a pretty good job at the point of attack. Um, you know, with Hopkins, and, uh, you know, that has to carry over to Dickinson this week now.